Well, tonight, Eagle star Fletcher Cox is breaking his silence after a scary, scary incident off the field. Yeah, police say the defensive tackle grabbed a shotgun to defend his house. Our Joe Holden joins us now live from the Novacare complex in South Philly. He's got the story. Joe. Good evening. Tempers flaring outside this defensive tackle's home in Malika Hill. Things did not settle down, at least not for the defendant now in this case, until a shotgun was produced. As two large rocks came crashing through Fletcher Cox's front door, smashing windows in the process, the Eagles defensive tackle reached for a shotgun to defend himself. That's all according to this complaint CBS3 obtained from Harrison Township Municipal Court. It reveals a man named Corbin Naima showed up at Cox's house here in Mullica Hill looking to speak with his ex-girlfriend. It's also alleged he had a baseball bat and was looking to break in through the garage. Naima is also accused of throwing rocks through his ex-girlfriend's car window. I mean, I mean. The Eagles defensive tackle was surrounded by reporters during an open locker room session on Wednesday afternoon. He asked that questions remain focused on the team's match with Buffalo on Sunday. I mean, I'm only here to talk about uh, football. I'm not here to discuss my personal life. Um, so if you got anything you know, interesting about the oh, Buffalo yeah. Bills oh, and yeah, the Eagles organization, I'm willing to talk about it rather than that, I'm interested. Coach Doug Peterson spoke with reporters briefly about the matter, hesitating to go into too much detail about the incident that occurred a week ago. They have personal lives, and we all have personal lives, and and uh, things are going to come up, and, and so we do the best we can to, to educate our players um, and try to protect them the best we can. And the damage to Fletcher Cox's front door alone is estimated to be at more than $2,000. We did place an email seeking comment from Corbin Naima. At this point, that email has not been returned. We're live outside the Novacare Complex in South Philly. I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Joe, thank you.